Welcome back, everybody, for another Johnny Z, aka Jan Ziska, Zishka. And uh, this time we will be going to, I think, Prague. It's a golden city and it kind of looks like where Prague is. But uh, let's see what's going on. Bloodied and battle hardened from our defeat of the Iron Lords. My Hussites were not content merely with surviving within the thick walls of Tabor. Knowing that our enemies would soon renew their efforts, we moved north Called to it. seize the golden city of Prague, jewel of Bohemia and its seat of power. Straddling the Vultava River, Prague is not easily Vultava. defended. We hold all of the city on the East River Bank, but enemy forces have overrun the sector across the river to the west. The glorious Charles Bridge that connects the two will soon become a bloody battleground. Emperor Sigismund, the man responsible for Hus's death, leads an army of hat. crusaders into Bohemia, vowing to wipe out the so-called Hussite heresy. It is the ultimate irony for an oath-breaker to claim the moral high ground, but not unexpected from a snake like Sigismund. His forces seek to encircle the city and suffocate us within our walls. This cannot happen, so we will array our wagons and make our stand on Vitkov Hill. These fanatical crusaders can keep Rome for all I care, but they will never claim our beloved Prague. Prague. Into the battle line for Hus and dearest Bohemia. Bohemian flag captured. So I guess it's going to be a defense scenario. Uh, defend Prague by defeating Emperor Sigismund, the Royalists, and the Crusaders. Uh, capture the St. Vitus Cathedral Monument, or St. Vitus Cathedral Monument, to retake the lesser town from the Royalists. Collect supply carts from local storehouses and return them to Prague for resources. Uh, Jan Zyska can reach Im uh, Imperial Age and support a pop limit of 150, but training additional villagers, building more walls, or constructing docks on the Voltava is impossible. Oh, boy. Oh, you know what? This is going to be like um, uh, Edward Longshanks 2, right? Where you have to defend the city, and you only get so many villagers. But it seems a bit more like large-scale than that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, but I really like that scenario. So let's see what this is like. Uh, your enemies will attack soon. Uh, dedicate the early stages of the mission to organizing and upgrading your troops to prepare for an assault. Your ability to break the siege hinges on shipments of supplies from your allies. Protect these wagons to ensure that more arrive. Every one that does means more resources for you and less for your enemies. Okay. Your enemies have superior numbers. Use the terrain in congested urban setting to your advantage. Uh, Hussite wagons are brilliant defensive units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jan Zizka's Hussite army has occupied Prague, but is now besieged on all sides by hostile armies. Emperor Sigismund uh, camps to the north with a bunch of stuff and will attack from the northeast. Uh, Royalist Bohemians have seized Prague's so-called lesser town on the west bank of the Voltava and have stuff and will attack across the bridge. Crusader forces led by the Italian magnate Pippo Spano uh, have set to siege the south of the city and will attack with more stuff and vicious German mercenaries. Rove about the countryside, looting and killing as they go. Lately, they have taken to setting blockades on the major roads to intercept relief supplies destined for Prague. Sigismund and his crusaders converge on our golden city. Oh, yep, no villagers. We shall yeah, lots of resources, though. And from all of Bohemia. Anno. Anno. Oh, yep. This is also just like, uh... Long Chanks 2, where we get the relics right away, but that's probably going to be our only gold uh, source of gold income. That there we go, and we get ten villagers. Oh boy. Okay, so let's get upgrades. Also, hotkey some buildings because we do control a pretty darn large city. Got four barracks, two castles. Four ranges. And three siege workshops. Wow. 
Oh, we have, we have this area. Do you have to defend this area? I remember saying something about a hill. Supplies from the northeast for now. Ah. But Sigismund's mercenaries have blockaded all other roads to Prague. We should eliminate these fiends and allow resources to pour in from all directions. These storehouses look like they're easy pickings. Here's the cathedral. And this isn't walled. We have recovered some supplies in this local storehouse. Return them That's to definitely a full work. Nourish our bold defenders. We have recovered some uh, supplies. Uh, where do we send them? Return them to Prague to nourish our bold defenders. Oh no, send them to the TC. That's a blockade. Oh, that's another storehouse, but we probably can't get by it. Are but meager rations, but every little bit helps. Alrighty. Uh, shall we go for some bombard cannons? These are but meager rations, but every little bit helps. Research guilds. Okay, so let's. Start by just getting the city. Because I'm sure if we get the west bank of the Voltava River, it's going to make our defense a lot easier because we can't build walls. And as nice as these towers are, I feel like they're going to be better set up if we just have these fortified walls to rely on. I have no idea how strong these guys are. But they seem like the weakest of the opponents. The Crusaders... I guess they're all kind of similar in score. Well, let's see how we do. Oh... Got him. Let's get another bombard cannon. The monks are going to be nice for healing everybody on up. And just dealing damage. Oh, rip. Oh, wait. What about these guys? I forgot about these guys. Is there a reason that they're over here? Oh wait, can we just free this? See if we can do that. Uh, I don't know. Do that. No, 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 no. How hard is it? Oh, nice. Okay, there is a castle in the way. Maybe I can, like, sneak some Husite wagons through to take the monument. But that seems a little bit optimistic, so let's just prepare for the long haul. Our numbers are already getting a little bit low over here. I'd love to get some Wolf Nietzsche. Ooh. Now this route is open for supply convoys. Let me go over here. This is kind of blocked off by the Crusaders. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh wait, um Let's get Halb. We have recovered some supplies in this local storehouse. Return them to Prague to nourish our bold defender. How wild would it be to just run right by? Oh, I don't have Wagenberg tactics, that might help. Just don't go after the wagons. Oh my god. Does, uh, I guess the castle just does a lot of damage. Ah, uh, well, too bad. Okay, let's send in these reinforcements and just take the, the rest of the city. I'd love to get some Haufniches. Or just rather get the upgrade. But I cannot afford it. It is 950, 750, I believe. Use these supplies to withstand the enemy onslaught. Okay, you get back to work. Get some more of you guys. Oh. I hope that's not a big deal that we abandoned it. Oh, well, those aren't siege units. Keep on keeping on. Oh, I mean, that's a lot of units. Uh, let's get murder holes. We don't have the food for murder holes. We'll have the food for murder holes, hopefully, in just a second. <clears throat> okay, what if I just run all of my Hussite wagons through? Because it doesn't look like there are any units nearby. Like, yeah, sure, this castle will kill a lot of them, but... We should get at least... Damn you! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can you get it? Can you reach it? Well, we're working away at that, but how are we holding up over here? Oh my goodness. Um. Maybe send these guys over this way? But we're still kind of holding over here. And this area doesn't seem like it's that valuable. Hopefully you'll just be ignored. You know, a guy can dream. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dumb, dumb villagers. Oh, 
Oh, is there gold to mine over here? Yeah, whoops. Whoops. Noise. Oh my god. Okay. Well, at least we have an area to fall back to, right? Right, guys? Okay, let's get our asses over here. I feel like our next order of business, uh, other than not dying, Oh. Remove this obstacle so that we might join our forces. Oh, and this would be like another supply route or something. But yeah, we need we should start freeing up more of those supply routes because they'll be getting us more resources and denying our enemies resources. Both of those things are very good. Oh, these guys are going to have Ironclad, aren't they? If I can click on them, yep. Well, rip that barracks. Oh, come on, not the castle. Good. Alrighty. So it seems like the other supply route thingies are this way. A supply convoy is on its way, on Shishka. Protect it from our enemies. Let's just uh, get everyone going over here. Unfortunately, we cannot replace those destroyed buildings. I'll do my best. No, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 that's a lot of bombards. Oh, come on. What, seriously, dude? A supply convoy is on its way, Yamshishka. Protect it from our enemies. Okay. Let's group everybody up. Oh, joy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. The voice line is ha, 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 ha. But the, this reads ho, 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 ho. Or ho, ho, ho. Use these supplies to withstand the enemy onslaught. Do we do we always get a thousand resources? Um It's gonna help Nietzsche. I know this castle's frickin' gonna be destroyed. 
Let's see if we can push over here. After this, have our thanks, Jan Shishka. Use these supplies to withstand the enemy onslaught. Will do. Okay, things are looking a bit better now. We should mine at least a little stone, though. We, like, we really do need repairs. Oh, yeah, here are glorious Hauf Nietzsche's. Look! Shishka's chalice banner rises over the Vichyerot. Sail up the river and reinforce our Hussite brothers. Let's see what we get. <laughs> we are all the king could afford to send. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what I need. If the leader is righteous, so too is the journey. Or something. I will take it gladly. Okay, so at this point, we're wrecking the Crusaders. We really just need to deal with Emperor Sigismund himself. Oh yeah, we also need to finish off the Royalists. But that shouldn't be too difficult. Got a nice mass of hand cannons. Wait a minute. Why is this section of wall belonging to Prague? Like, look, Prague, Bohemians. But the rest of the walls are ours. What? Yeah, like, all the rest of the walls. That's so weird! Okay, so it seems like it's one of those things where it's a really hard hold early on, but once you start getting rid of your enemies, then it becomes a lot easier. Not that this is, like, easy still. Not exactly thriving. Thanks, Jan Zizka. Use these supplies to withstand the enemy onslaught. It's gonna leap who sight wagon. Honestly, I'm just most impressed by the fact that I haven't actually lost any villagers yet. It seems so unlike me. No, no, no. Not gonna have like one condo kill everything. Anul? 
Oh yeah, we could do Hussite reforms. Get some trash monks. Yeah, probably not worth it. I know, we all are disappointments sometimes. Gotta love that faster projectile speed, man. Oh man, hand cannons just feel so much better now. Okay. Can these guys take down these guys? Eh, I think so. Eh, I mean, that's a decent sized army for sure. Um, I don't care about the barricades. Yeah, use that bonus where the units have their damage blocked. Give me siege engineers. Thank you. No, Doku. Oh, they do have Teutonic Knights, so they probably have a castle. Does yellow have anything else? I don't think so. Oh. Doubt? That's what happens when you go up against the Lord Doubt. Let's end up just a few more units over here. And now we can get our uh, our final fight push attack. Actually, why attack from a place of weakness when we can attack from a place of strength? Let's use logic, Hornlu. Well, at least insofar as we ever can. Use these supplies to withstand the enemy onslaught. Yeah. Can you just snipe them from afar? Ooh. Um, well, guys, Ornlu video confirmed. Okay. Mm. 
this should be another one. Another band of marauders is vanquished. Now this route is open for supply convoys. Have our thanks, young Shishka. Use these supplies to Yeah, now things are really going well for us. I really like the scenario. It's very creative. And it feels like, you know, there's a lot of different... There's a lot of different things going on, but they each feel quite unique. It's not like you're doing, like, the same quest over and over again. And it's, it's hard, too. Wait, oh my god, I thought you were, like, almost dead. There we go. Okay. You guys, hopefully you're enough. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, these Hauf Nietzsche are so dope. You know, it's kind of funny, like, you take the, the lesser town, and then, uh, you know, there's still, like, this tiny little camp that you have to destroy. I mean, you certainly get to leverage the defensive strengths of Bohemians. Between your cannons, uh, the Hussite wagon, your strong halberdiers, your strong, yeah... Strong cannons, hand cannons. You could probably play like a more tower centric approach too. Boop. I mean, these guys nuke buildings. I don't know how, exactly how much extra bonus damage they get, but it feels like they pack a punch. Like, if regular Bombard Cannons are around half as good as Trev's... Yeah, regular Bombard Cannons feel like around half as good as Trev's against buildings. But obviously Bombard Cannons have a lot more utility. Oh, you have Crenellations, don't you? You do. Alright, Hussite Wagon, time to shine! What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You have our thanks, young Shishka. Use these supplies to withstand the enemy onslaught. What you gonna do? Against the magical wagon. My Wagenberg tactics. <laughs> oh. And we just finished all of the, uh... <laughs> and we got all the side quests just at the last second. Just at the very end, we got all the side quests. Feels good, man. Audio is up. A drawback of a comfortable, noble life, or even a life of crusading against disorganized heathens, is that you become unaccustomed to true adversity. As they faced our new, unconventional battle tactics, the armies of Sigismund were a relic of a bygone age, and they melted away like snow in the sweltering heat of the summer sun. Failing to break through our line of wagons, the enemy forces were hurled back by a you fierce counterattack. We drove them to the edge of a precipice, and then over it. Sigismund will return, what is it I with, am sure. with bohemians now, and throwing people off things? Him. One image from the battle is etched into my mind. That of a fearless woman who led a defiant charge in the heat of battle 
martyring herself in defense of our cause. Her name may be unknown, but her legend will live on forever. Well, there we go. Yeah, that was that was a pretty intense scenario. I liked it. That's a pretty good KD, too. Yeah, ten villagers you have to work with. Twelve? Oh, the transport ships count as villagers. They count as villagers and military somehow. Don't know how exactly that works out. Sounds like something T-West would know. Seems like they train batches of military units. And yet, what we will really never know is why these, like, five or six tiles of fortified wall belong to Grey and not us. That's just going to be a mystery that remains until the end of time. Or something. Yeah, really like that scenario. Anyway, guys, that was The Golden City. And next up will be our second to last scenario in Dawn of the Dukes. It will be the Emperor's Fury. See you guys next time for that one.